couple of years ago, I put out a video releasing my recipe for my top secret bubble solution. The response was amazing. Welcome back, friends. This video is proof. Not only do I read your comments and respond to your comments, but I actually think about and take action because of your comments. This video was inspired by Shadow Killer 123, which is a pretty menacing name for a guy who is an expert on bubbles. <laughs> anyway, a Shadow Killer 123 says that he finds J Lube to be finicky and guar gum is the polymer of his choice. So today, I am going to find out once and for all if guar gum is as good as J Lube. Stick around for big bubbles. <laughs> And Tony Marchetti, 5553, gives a little tip where he says to make a slurry out of alcohol and your powdered uh, substances, such as your guar gum. So we're going to try that today as well. All we're going to need for this special bubble solution is some rubbing alcohol, our guar gum, Dawn soap, and baking powder along with a measuring cup, measuring spoons, and something to stir with. I'm going to fill up this gallon bucket with hot water. Hot as I can get it. Okay, let's get into it with one heaping teaspoon of guar gum. This was purchased off Amazon. Let's say that's heaping. Boom. I'm going to put that in a little cup along with two tablespoons of alcohol. Tablespoon of alcohol here. And this is just regular 91%. And I'm going to really mix this up good in this to dissolve it. So I appreciate this tip and uh, just goes to show I do read the comments. So if you guys have a comment about anything you've seen on the channel, let's hear about it. Because who knows, it just may become the next video I make. Alright, so once I've got that, I'm going to slowly introduce some of this hot water into this guar gum right here. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Just gonna take a little bit of this hot water, kind of mix it around in there. So once I feel that thickening up a little, I'm just gonna keep adding a little bit of water into this and keep thickening it up. See, I feel it getting thicker. So you're just slowly mixing it, thickening it, mixing it. We get a little more water right there. And this will be the last time. I'll mix this up. And I can feel that thick water right there, which is gonna make some good bubbles, I can already tell. So then I'm just going to pour this right into that. So now we just have hot water and the gargum um, alcohol slurry. So now I'm going to mix that up a little bit with my big spoon. Just to kind of get that whole water thickened. We're going to add in are done. Okay, so I've got two thirds of a cup, two thirds of a cup going straight in with that thickened water. And now we're gonna mix well. I wanna talk about Dawn soap for a minute. Back in the old days, they would say not to use Dawn Ultra, but then it became impossible to find anything but Dawn Ultra. So, you had to use it, and it works fine. But look what I found 
at Menards. No Ultra on this label. So I got this Dawn instead. I don't know if they've come back with the original or not, but it's something to think about. And the final ingredient is baking powder. Just one teaspoon of baking powder goes right in, and we're gonna mix that in as well, just like that. Try to really get all those clumps out. Now, of course, you don't want it to get too much bubbles on the top when you're mixing it. But if it does, you just simply rake those bubbles off. And uh, it's going to be fine. All right, and this should be good. Let's take it outside and see if we can make some bubbles. Okay, it's a little bit windy for this today, but here we go. First guar gum bubble ever. Check it out. Oh, pretty good bubbles. Let me know in the comments if you guys have a better recipe or something special you do to make these bubbles last longer. The more I played with them, the more I liked them. Um, I still am not sure that they surpass, you know, my favorite top secret recipe. So check those out as well. You let me know in the comments which way you like them. If you're looking to host a bubble party, here's a tip that may help. These buckets from Dollar Tree are perfect to mix up and put around the yard so that they can, you know, grab the bubbles out. And they got wide openings so they can stick the big wands in. For them. If you've seen my original video, let me know in the comments which bubble solution you like the best. This video has given me so many great comments, including these and this. And that. Then I want you guys to go watch it right after you finish this video. It's a great video. It tells you how to make wands, how to make big bubble wands, and how to make my very favorite bubble solution I've been using for over a decade. There's just no denying the universal appeal of bubbles. Let me know your bubble secrets in the comments, and we'll catch you clowns on the rebound. Yeah.